30 pounds, sorry, eight years older, 30 pounds lighter, comes out and takes on the two-time ADCC champion, Yuri Samoyes. Now, Yuri Samoyes, you know, we haven't seen a lot from him in terms of grappling in the last year and a half or so. He's only had one grappling match in that mm. time, a gi match. That was very recently. But the rest of the time, he's concentrating on, you know, fighting MMA. So let's not forget, though, that Yuri was a champion in 2015 and 2017 in two different divisions. Now, Wagner has never won gold at ADCC. He's come close, right? Yeah, of course, two times, or no, silver medals most recently, then of course a bronze medalist before that, multi-year veteran, multiple time trials winner, um, and really, you could say, has reached the peak of his career right now. I mean, he's never looked better, Hal. He has not, that is true. The last couple of uh, months for Wagner have been very impressive. You know, in that time, and we talked about this in the preview to the show, but he's taken on, and now he's beaten two former ADCC champions. He has a win over Shanji Hibero. Excuse me, that was a draw, technically. But he had a, a very convincing performance against Shanji Hibero. He heel-hooked Gabriel Almeida. He had a decision win against John Blank. And now he has this decision win against Yuri Samoyes. Those are four opponents significantly bigger and heavier than Wagner you know, is, is used to competing against. So for me, the performance says a lot because Yuri was not able to take Wagner down. And when Yuri was on bottom here, because it was Yuri who elected to pull guard, he's mm -hmm. like, man, I know I'm going to get on bottom. He's, he's going after Wagner's legs. Wagner shut it down. Yeah, you can see Wagner looks very comfortable here on top, even going for his own kind of a steam lock style uh, attack there. Uh, Wagner has one of the most impressive bases, I would say, in the game, especially Nogi. He's really good at his own style of float passing and uh, really just remains out of danger. And you can see Yuri's really hunting for the legs. I really liked, actually, Yuri's bottom game here. Uh, some creative attacks. You can tell he's really been kind of trying some new things out there. But Wagner was unfazed by all of that and just sort of, I would say, imposed the pace, which may have been a decisive factor here. Yeah, and, and you know, a, a really important thing to mention in this match as well is that it got a little bit chippy at times, you know? <laughs> as, as matches with Wagner do. As matches with Yuri can as well, because <laughs> Yuri is not exactly the most, uh, you know, easy goal. Look at that guys. hand in the mouth, though. I mean, just, that's, yeah. That's classic Wagner, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, there was some heavy collar ties. I mean, at one point, like, Yuri literally swings like a hook, mm -hmm. and Wagner ducks like, like, like literally like a boxer, you know? And uh, a unanimous decision, though, in favor of Wagner. And, um, I'll be I, honest. I, I was surprised that it was unanimous. I thought it was a really, really close match. I thought Yuri had some attacks as well. Mm -hmm. I just think when you, when you see a unanimous decision, usually it's pretty decisive. And I would say eh, there was some room for interpretation there. But either way, strong showing from either. And the question for, for me now is, where does Wagner go next? Yeah, really good question. Because... Uh, you know, uh, he's already talked about how this extra weight on his frame, he feels that his jujitsu is better as a result. And the results speak for themselves. Mm. You know, you look at his performances in the last couple of months, he's doing great. So when ADCC does come back around, is he going to cut back down to 77 or, you know, is 88 in his future? Personally, I feel that 88 might be the move. But of course, ADCC is so far away. Well, there's a lot of time in between now and then. And, you know, with Wagner, 38 years of age, clock is ticking on a career. You know, of course, him and Cyborg, those guys are just best examples <laughs> of older I think it's spinning grapplers. the other way. The clock is going in reverse because both those guys just keep getting better. So I don't know. Never count them out. They bucked the trend for sure. But the thing is, you know, there will come a point where they're not able to compete as they used to. So they got to make the most of it now while they can, while they've got this momentum going. So uh, I, I expect to see Wagner back soon, but who you know? Face off, or face off against remains to be seen. Absolutely, but yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, that match really good, and uh, I think definitely worth a watch. You know, the, the highlight kind of like teases a little bit, but go and go and check out the full thing.